Yeah, I want I want people to I would be super curious to people to try it out and see how it stretches and what modifications mm -hmm. uh, would be helpful to make the system uh, especially work well for a wide range of researchers. Like what are some of the bugs in the way I'm thinking about it that may be idiosyncratic to how I do things. I, I don't want this to yeah. be like uh, it only works for me. Um, and the only way to see this is to have people try it out. Um, so that's, yeah. that's the motivation behind like sharing this document. Um, yeah, because it can't I mean, be done. It can't be implemented in like an hour-long session, right? You have mm -hmm. to sort of like check, try it out with parts of your your notes and so on. Yeah, I wanted to try doing it for a section of my notes because, like yeah. I mentioned, uh, I do a lot of this stuff implicitly. Yeah. So I figured it might be interesting to try like refactoring or at least yeah. like showing you. I mean, if you want, I can just show you very briefly. Oh, you did. Do I it? guess like um, I didn't. I didn't not fully, but like yeah. I don't know. Uh, I'll, I'll show you what I think like my equivalent kind of is. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that'd be super interesting. Yo. Hi. Um, okay. Um, so I'm going to take you to a page that may, this is like the insane man's version of <laughs> your system because <laughs> I'm not showing you something new that I did. This is like yeah. what I'm talking about where there might be like a refactor yeah, in yeah, place. Yeah. Uh, lit review of online community. Nice, uh, yeah, yeah. Been, been working through some of this or actually, mm. Mm, you know what? This page might not be the right specific page. Give me just a second. Um, or I mean, like this page is interesting, but it doesn't yeah, yeah. really like have your eye. It doesn't yeah. have your system on it. Um, yeah. I'm gonna go to my page on self determination theory. Mm -mm. Uh, Cause I just like, I, I read a couple papers um, that right. talk about this claim of intrinsic mm. motivation yeah, undermining yeah, yeah. or extrinsic motivation undermining intrinsic motivation. And yeah. it turns out the evidence is actually pretty mixed on that yeah and there's, and there you there's go pretty significant nuance to yeah uh to yeah. when it happens so each of these pages uh each of these pages that you see up here yeah. they are i mean they're essentially my synthesis claims correct yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, but what's nice too is that i've been connecting it back to uh, the evidence. So like extrinsic mm. motivation can be helpful to get someone started, you know, right. and then now I go to the linked references and mm. I can see the situations where I've both used that in speculation and com and like right. conversation with my notes, but also yeah, yeah. like, oh, yeah, that's, that's the source. Yeah. Yeah. That's the source. And so like I can, uh, I just commented under the, mm. um, under the block, uh, for, yeah the actual evidence that supports that yeah you know? uh and so i have that all throughout yeah uh so i don't have any open questions related to this specific uh project i don't think i mean mm. I maybe maybe yeah. I, I mean maybe a question is under what conditions uh is the trade-off between extrinsic and intrinsic motivation justify like excluding extrinsic motivation or something like you mentioned that under some conditions is helpful under some conditions it's not um that would be like a that would be a fun research uh project reaction to like mixed evidence um or like how does the way uh motivation is measured um influence the the outcome or um you know all kinds of fun things you could speculate from based on like whenever I see conflicting results, I start to get really interested, right? Cause that's where we get some interesting things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what I'd probably do here, uh, so I've got the, that that's a good point, like of being, of just interrogating yeah. that, uh, that mixed evidence, like what exactly right. is making it mixed? I like, yeah, that. yeah. Um, yeah. but yeah. you know, like, so I might take, I might then like look through this, which is, essentially yeah. like a little conversation I had with myself on yeah. the subject um, mm -hmm. where the indentation is meant to like show stuff. So yeah. Uh, yeah. it can be helpful. 
uh, when it gets broccoli in the mouth, you know, like the, the <laughs> yeah. argument there being people yeah. didn't know they already wanted it. Uh, yeah. so they were resistant to it, but if you can just get yeah. broccoli in the mouth the first time, then maybe they'll realize they like it. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. And, and then to, to riff on that, like you mm -hmm. probably will be curious to know, like, um, you know, what, what are the range of conditions under which we saw this to be true? Right. How much do we believe that this is a potential mechanism uh, that could put my researcher hat on? Like, you know, um, are these uh, what's the quality of the evidence for this um, versus, say, um, you know, if if we only ran this experiments with um, undergraduate students, right, it, at major universities who are upper class, middle upper class, and I'm actually trying to operate in a much more broader context then I might be a bit more cautious mm -hmm. in generalizing, you know? Um, so that's kind of the, uh, you wouldn't be able to interrogate that if you only had all the things you write down here, right? Because these are sort of generalizations, right? But if you, like you do, you have these links back to the context and the observation notes, you'll then start to be able to interrogate in those ways, right? To be able to pull those apart. And um, mm -hmm. maybe there's cultural differences, right? Um, you sort of write about people here, but maybe there's cultural differences. Maybe there's like a generational thing. Maybe like it turns out six, six of the 10 studies were done during the Great Depression. You know, that, that's probably <laughs> significant, right? Like, you know. Right, right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so I'm just pulling up her, uh, pulling up these linked references. Yeah. And here, uh, I'm trying to find the specific. Okay, yeah, here's the yeah. specific uh, yeah. thing where she mentioned it. Uh, yeah. So maybe, mm -hmm. uh, maybe it only applies to kids. To maybe. kids. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Open yeah. question. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I look at that. I'm, I'm curious. I'll be curious. Like, why do we trust Agnes Keller? Like, what is she basing that off of? Probably she. You know, if she's got, if she's a therapist and has like extensive experience with clients and is basing this on her. Um, experience as a as a therapist. I don't think she is, but like that would be relevant information as well, right? Um, yeah. Like this is not just a theoretical thing that we see in experiments, but clinicians report seeing this um, in actual practice. That would be significant um, to note as well. However, it gets broccoli in the <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, yeah so i i just uh expanded yeah, yeah. out the context here to find yeah. um the original argument i guess yeah yeah uh, yeah yeah um yeah and, and so like i i'd kind of like free free write out those yeah. uh, sorts yeah. of things but like yeah. as these questions come up you know like i'd either open the linked references and filter mm -hmm in yeah. some way to try to find an answer to it or alternatively yeah. uh, I'd write a query like I think that I probably have a query related to evidence mm -hmm. or I'm going to uh, I think you have your like or, hashtag C or something yeah um, mm, mm, mm. It, and then I'm also going to uh, counter evidence mm. uh, ideally i wouldn't uh have all of those issues with yeah. capitalization yeah, yeah. um yeah. but you know so i'd say evidence evidence counter evidence counter yeah. evidence and yeah. then also intrinsic motivation mm. so this yeah. query would be pulling up any evidence or yeah. counter evidence related to intrinsic yeah. motivation uh, yeah. And so then I have a good set of things yeah. for this. So yeah. I'd probably uh, just you'll save that as a looking lens or something, right? Oh, save you, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Just so that way I can uh, collapse it is really yeah. like the point of it, I guess. Yeah. And open it up in the sidebar, you know, like I might uh, yeah. try to query my memory first, you know, but like then. I might just like look through this and see mm -hmm. uh, yeah. if there's anything here. Yeah, like this one, like it's very significant that you're seeing some of this from meta-analyses, right? Um, that's a very significant detail. Um, it's not just a couple of studies. Mm -hmm. There was enough that they, they were able to do a, a meta-analysis. 
but also that this counter evidence uh, is an RCT. That's relevant too, right? It wasn't just some uh, you know observational study with a few participants. Like presumably, it's um, large enough that it was significant to mention that counter evidence, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a good point because uh, I I was mentioning that like what I wrote up here, like this is only coming from a couple papers and the broccoli yeah. in the mouth, that was just from a YouTube uh, yeah. like debate where yeah. there was this philosopher who was having a debate with a psychology of self-regulation researcher. Interesting. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. You know, so, so Agnes Callard's the philosopher there. And, mm. um, but, mm. but like, so like I was thinking to myself, you know, okay, for the sake of meta-analysis, how much, um, or like how important, hmm, what should I say here? Uh, but like for the sake of meta-analysis, if I'm only doing two papers, you know, then that might mean it's uh, not, you know, super robust, but like, right, yeah, you're, but yeah. like they're meta-analyses too. So yeah. it's, it's more robust by nature of that too. Potentially, yeah. So I don't want to look at the meta-analysis and say, did they correct for publication bias, right? Did they try to figure out, like, do we get the reports that were not published so we'd avoid knowing that the literature has a positive bias towards positive effects? Um, a good meta-analysis would have taken care of that, and that would be something I would put under, like, a context snippet or something to contextualize that observation note. This is a result from the meta-analyses, and I trust it more because they corrected for these things that I know should be corrected. Versus, like maybe if you say mm -hmm. they only had a few papers or they didn't systematically search, then who cares if it's a meta-analysis, right? Um, doesn't really add much. Those yeah. are all details, right? Those are all details. The devil's in the details. Yeah. Yeah. And Rome allows you to do that because you can collapse things so much, right? You can sort of compress things. Um, mm -hmm. You wouldn't be able to do this in a Google Doc, I don't think, because it just gets too unwieldy, <laughs> right? Uh, here you can sort of hide and collapse um, lots of the complexity. Yeah, and yeah. and so I mean, this is kind of what I mean when I'm saying though too that like your system, um, it's yeah. really to me it feels more principles oriented mm -hmm. than uh, than it feels anything else, right? So <laughs> yeah, uh, be, because like I did zero editing of this page. Uh, yeah. before I showed you this and oh, nice. before I saw this paper, you know, yeah. but like, these are just generally good, like knowledge work principles to follow, I think, <laughs> yeah. you know, yeah. so it's yeah. like, uh, there's a lot of different ways you can implement it. Uh, one question I have, though, um, related to how formal the system needs to be, like, yeah. I have very little distinctions in my database for saying, like, okay, this is a fleeting note versus a right. note, you know? Yeah. Like, I kind of just uh, more trust based on the topic than anything because, yeah. like, yeah. for the most part, my queries can narrow it down effectively enough or mm -hmm. alternatively, if they can't, you know, then I just try to narrow it down more, <laughs> I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, so like, yeah. what's the benefit of maybe saying like, these notes are tagged as uh, observation notes, these notes are tagged as uh, claim notes, you know? It's a good question. I mean, uh, I think if you find that your way of tagging things and indenting things and using queries, like my, the, your system is hiding in your queries right? Mm -hmm. You're making these distinctions in your queries and the way you structure your indentation to allow for that. I don't mean hiding in the bad sense. It's just like, it's, that's where it is. But you are making distinctions <clears throat> in some way. Um, it's just not in the same way that I am. I think some distinctions are useful. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't want it to be like, create a formal, like, so a good example of it being too formal would be like if you get hung up on, is this an observation note or a synthesis note or a contextual snippet? Under mm -hmm. what conditions can I classify all these blocks as either these or that? I'm more pragmatic about it. Like I, I have these distinctions because I find it useful to for my thinking and to be able to mm -hmm. res resurface things. <clears throat> I don't make any claims about like ontological, you know, this is an ontology, you know, super formal, like all cases must be the same. Um, it's like a, adopt that conceptual model and see if it helps you make notice these distinctions and discipline your thinking. Um, and if you 
implement it through a indentation page reference query based approach and it works mm -hmm. for you, that's fine too. Um, yeah, so then I'm just trying to interrogate myself then a little bit and say, because like you're pointing out that I'm actually am doing some of this structure, um, you know, with differentiating, but I'm maybe not like calling attention to that, uh, mm -hmm. right? Like it, that's hidden in my queries, like in the yeah. way that I do or statements and, and stuff mm -hmm. like that, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, um, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Right? But, but, but it's like, so trying to find like those principles in there, like uh, one is probably that I'm generally tagging the high level project if there is something related to the project. You yeah. know, like if anything, there's an organizational layer above the open question, which is more like the projects that I'm working yeah. on, because yeah. I have a lot of questions related to those yeah. projects and I need to yeah. kind of organize that, you know, yeah. but it's, so it's like, I'll, uh, I'll usually have like, like for, I'll have a page for like the guy to track onboarding. And yeah. so I can, and that's always the top level bullet, you know, yeah. of thoughts yeah. related to it. Yeah. So yeah. I, yeah. 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 Yeah, you're structuring things with. I think you use indentation a lot more effectively than I do, because um, your your approach is much more query heavy, right? So you need it to be the indentation to have that that semantics behind it. Um, and I don't use indentation quite as much in that way, because I have a different style, and that's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Well, also because I don't have the scrub mentality here, <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> have you heard of this? Do you know what the scrub no, mentality no. is? No. It's this concept from fighting video games, which is that uh, in like competitive fighting games like yeah. Street Fighter, uh, where you know the rules and you're like, I refuse to do some tactic because it's unfun, you know, or something, yeah. right? But like you still want to win, but you, mm. but like you say, I think the rules should be changed, you know, as a, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. right. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. so, so it's like, um, yeah. I guess basically just the differences that I fully am just, I really hope that sibling nodes get recognized differently someday, but yeah, for too. now, I'm just like, this is how it works. And I'm just going to make it as effective as I can for now, because yeah. I, it's a product. I have no idea if they're going to make any of the changes I want them yeah. to make, yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. I mean, from a technical standpoint, like uh, linking sibling nodes is trivial. Um, so mm. I, I don't think that there, there'll be, they just haven't gotten around to it. I don't think it's like something that will be very hard to implement versus like uh, making attributes useful would be a lot more technical hurdles there because um, it's a different data model and like you know, yeah. um, that kind of stuff. But sibling stuff, I think um, you can, I think you have higher hope that, that it will be available at some point. Um, yeah, I agree. I mean, I just think it's interesting. Like, there's like there's the complexity there, or it it it's not so much that it's technically complex. I think like some of the question is just what happens when mm -hmm. you unleash that on systems that didn't already right. have that built in. You know, because yeah. it's like yeah, true, on the true, daily true. on the daily notes, for example, I'm yeah. talking about you on the same page that I'm talking about. Yeah. Yeah. um a totally different product that i'm working on you know yeah. so like i think yeah. uh yeah that that's kind yeah. of the difficulty yeah that's a good point but, yeah cool man this cool. is this is awesome yeah. it's really really great to see um in your system too